I have created three gifts for 33p each. If you want to know how DIY gifting is going, um, look at the state of my room right now. Okay! Alright! Hiya, oh yeah. how you been? Today's video is so up my street. This is like the most me video you're ever gonna see on this channel. There's so much crap in my room. Oh, my room's been a right state lately. And you'll know why when you watch this video. So unless you've been living under a rock, you may have noticed that it's Christmas time right now. And Christmas, it's a great time of the year. It's a time to get together with your loved ones, but it can be also a very expensive time of the year. I know people who will literally go into debt because of Christmas. They spend so much money on food and presents, mostly presents, they literally go into debt. You're like, oh, but it's Christmas. You gotta get the presents. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm gonna put to the test in this video. So, the challenge in this video is to see if I can give a really good gift to someone on a budget of one pound or five pound to make a gift for as little as possible. It's about spending as least money as possible. First thing I did was try and use all the materials I already own. So this is my DIY craft box. This is everything that I managed to accumulate over the years. And as you can see, I have a lot of things. So far I picked up like confetti, random pipe cleaners, letters, string, envelopes, name tags, photos, some more photos. I managed to find some felt. I am so happy I found this, um, which makes me sound like I'm some sort of serial killer. But this is gonna come in super handy for this gift. I'm trying to look for Gorilla Glue. I don't know where it is in this box. <gasps> I found it! I found it. I knew, I knew this was in here. I probably should not be trusted with Gorilla Glue, but I found it. So I got both of these for one pound. 50p each. This cost me 50p. DIY project now. I'm going to turn this book into a secret stash book. And I'm going to get a box cut. I'm just going to rip the pages off. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, I did a terrible job of that. So as you can see, I have done a great job so far. I mean, that is just such a clean job. Oh, actually, you might add to the rustic vibe to actually. I've never seen someone look so weak and pathetic in my life. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? I think we actually did it. That looks so cool. It looks very rustic, as you would say. Um, it looks like a monster's come in and taken the pages out. That actually does look really cool. That actually cool. looks really cool on camera really as well. Look it looks cool? really good. Because it's like the vintage. Vibe. Yeah, I love it. Oh my god, look at all the mess. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. I'm just going to glue it all together. Glue all the pages together. And now we put something really heavy on top, did you say? A bit heavier than this. <laughs> this is one use for it. <laughs> so now we're this is what we've been waiting to use. So what do I do with it all these days? My room is going to be like this tonight. Have it. You got glue on your hands? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of Extreme Hoarders. Here we have a serious case of poor hygiene. How can anyone live like this? I don't know why, but I just found it so satisfying that a big chocolate bar fit perfectly into the cutout area. I'm so happy with how this gift turned out. In total, the book was 50p and the chocolate was also 50p, which came to a grand total of one pound. So within budget. Next, I was in search for a good notebook. One of the best places I found was Tiger. It was both cheap and had good options. I got the idea to do a journal from Pinterest. I saw so many cool ones online and I was like, I have to do this. So I picked up this journal from Tiger. It was only two pounds, like square lines in it. In terms of price, it's pretty cheap. This only cost me two pounds. Writing, drawing, that's free. I have a bunch of pictures already. Um, so in terms of like creating it, it doesn't cost so much other than time and dedication. I would be so chuffed if someone got that for me. Some fine pens. These only cost me one pound. I surprisingly got really into journaling. I think it's going to be my new hobby. So I did some journaling last night. This is some of the stuff I did last night. I got really into it actually. <gasps> I got BTS. I know people are going to be like, why didn't you put the whole of BTS in? But I didn't have a picture with all of them that would fit in this book. But I have Taeyong, who is my bias. And I did that myself. And then, I haven't finished it, but yeah. I'm really into this whole journaling thing now. 
I like it a lot. Really happy with how this turned out. I already had all the decorated materials, which meant I only paid for the book and pens, coming to a grand total of three pounds which meant I was two pounds under budget. For gift number three, I went to the thrift shop, specifically the one pound or less store, and found three quality photo frames for only one pound. To say I was happy is an understatement. For photos, I used this app called Free Prints that gives you 45 free prints per month. So I basically didn't have to pay a dime. The free prints have arrived, which means I can start making my collage now. Look at all these free prints. I am so chuffed with that. That's such a bargain. That's not even a bargain, that's free. <laughs> so as you guys know, I went to the flea market and this is hands down one of the best deals I got. These are perfectly good frames. Like they look brand new. I don't think they've ever been used. And I got, not only did I get one, not only did I get two, but I got three for one pound. My cousin, my niece and I, like to call ourselves the Three Musketeers because we're really cool like that. So one of the things I thought I would do is make a collage of the three of us um, and give one to each person, but they're also going to be unique to the person. And then to decorate the collages, I painted some backdrops here. That one's a cool one, we really like that one. And this, this is nice. I like this one a lot. So I could just use it um, for the background of the collage, put the pictures on top of it, I've got some painting, going to write some poems, some cute messages. So I'm going to put all these together and it basically means I have created three gifts for 33p each. I mean, that's a new record for me. If I can pull this off and this looks really good, um, I've done really well. I have done so well. I don't even think I'm going to use all of these pictures because there's just so many. So I think I'm going to do... And then look how cute! It'll be like a string rope photo thing. And the main good thing about this is it's completely free. The pegs and the rope I already had and the photos are free. So this didn't cost me a thing, people, and it's a really cute gift. Now, time to collage. This is serious business. Look, it's a mini me. How cute. I think this is coming along quite well. Not sure what this collage is about, but it's just random moments. My friends, my brother, Moon. And then I got random pictures like this that have no meaning whatsoever, but I'm gonna include anyway. This, I'm gonna try and cut this out. God knows how I'm gonna do that. And then put it with a purple background and I'm gonna put that on this side. Sounds like a plan. You know what? I actually think that looks sick. I mean, ah, every time with these blimmin' beats. You know what? I'm not a massive fan. Um, if you want to know how DIY gifting is going, um, look at the state of my room right now. Isn't that great? I'm going to go to sleep now because I'm shattered. But the thought of me waking up to all of this, it's just great. Really happy with how the collage came out. It's the cheapest gift I made, but it's also one of my favourite. I only spent 33p, which meant I was 67p under budget. Number four was my secret Santa. I initially wanted to buy a box to put the gifts in, but I took one look at that price and decided to just make it myself. I was literally just on the phone to my niece and she gave me a cool idea. I have a secret Santa and it's a boy and so it's a lot harder to try and come up with his presents. I'm gonna take some pictures with him and do like a photo frame kind of thing, but I'm gonna do it that without spending that much money. I already own these like little paper clip pegs and then I also have string that I already own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print some pictures of us together and then I'm gonna put the pictures on like little pegs like this and then he has like a photo rope thing. And that was pretty much for free. All I had to pay for are the pictures and I think pictures to print them out is like 6p. So if I print like say three pictures, 6, 12, 18, that's 18p I've spent for one of the gifts. Now that's a good gift. I'm really chuffed with that. I'm getting so excited by, by how like how much I can get for so little. It's raining, it's dark, it's cold. Welcome to Wales everyone. The plan now is to oh by the way, I do not the box I have a four pound budget basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around to all the cheap stores and just see what I can find maybe I can get them a can of beans I mean for 60p that's a bargain right there but I can't help but feel they don't share the same passion as me when it comes to honey's beans so I'm gonna leave that behind for now oh my god guys you will never believe what I just found I was gonna actually make this but I can get it for a pound I cannot believe you can actually buy all of this together I think that's for this all the ingredients for cookies in a bottle and it has the exact amount and everything. I was actually gonna DIY and make it myself, but for a pound, oh, that's 
That's amazing. So let's go through all the things in the box. Six in one pen cost £2.49. Savvy stick, 39p. Cookie jar, £1. Notebook came in a set of three for a pound, so 33p. This was free, which comes to a grand total of £4.21. I didn't even think I could get this much stuff for my budget, but I'm super happy with it. And it's stuff that I think they'll actually like. For number five, I managed to find a jar for 50p at the flea market and a tin for 79p. I am on my way to get the final thing for the gift. Isn't that good? 175 and it's got batteries included. One of you guys suggested this on Instagram and that's to give coupons. Each one says a different thing. Sky chat, hot chocolate, pep talk, cook you a hot meal. I think that is too Cute. So I have the cookie jar, I have the coupons and the fairy light. Oh my god, she's gonna love this. She's actually gonna love this. I also included a cookie jar, so it came to a total of £3.25. I tried to recreate one of my favourite quotes on a painted card. That's actually not that bad. It's not that different from the original. Does this count as copyright? Probably. Already had a photo of us and the book cost 33p which came to a total of £1.12. Altogether, the gift came to £4.37. What are you seeing? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, you made that extra. Group Because oh. this. Oh. And then this is part two. <laughs> One of the people I was getting gifts for was you. <laughs> This jar is nice. But I just wanted you to see it. Oh! <laughs> Do you like so it? Cute. One of my favorite things is gift giving. I just love seeing how happy it makes people. And this video proves that you don't need to spend a lot of money to make people happy. And all of this cost me five pounds. The whole thing, That's everything. That's impressive. Yeah, and I thought you'd appreciate that because you so everything. Because like the point I was trying to make across is that you can still get really good gifts on a budget and all of this that's why i got like the coupons and stuff and this the reason why this is made out of rope and stuff is because it's free <laughs> and oh, i have a picture for free okay. i am such a sucker for gift giving i definitely am much more of a giver than a receiver i've actually never done gift giving on a budget before um so this was very new to me but i couldn't believe how well i did i feel like i did better on this budget challenge than when i give gifts that are on a budget. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys are doing for Christmas. Uh, let me know what your gift ideas are. Thank you to everyone who actually gave me gift ideas as well. Um, I tried to incorporate them as much as possible. You guys were awesome. Follow me on all my social media. I'm Click for Tales for everything. And that, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember to click the top.